Hi guys, it's Deborah with Time with Jewel by Deborah. Today we are on box four of ten of the Thread Up. Whoops, I don't know where the heck my footage went series. <laughs> so this is a nice mix of jewelry. Uh, this is the first piece that came. It's in a purple box. There is no maker's mark. It is silver tone. And it has beautiful grape purple stones. And then there are rhinestones here, and it is silver tone. Here's what the back looks like. I believe they are glass. I've got Pressy all warmed up and calibrated. So we are going to test one of these purple stones. And yes, they are. These are beautiful purple glass. Let me get you a measurement on this. The measurement is at six and three quarters. Absolutely a lovely, lovely piece. So for this silver tone purple tennis bracelet, let's do, uh, it's so pretty. Let's do 10. I think that's great. All right. Then we've got a new on the card block necklace. Here's what it looks like. It was originally $34.50, then on sale for $29.99. Very long, gold tone. And this has either glass or a stone. We're going to test it. And this right here looks like a druzy. So, got Pressy out to test that. I'm going to put her down. Get my reader. And we will start on the yellow stone first. Oh, it is a gemstone. Look at that. It went right into jadeite. Fantastic. Then we're going to go here with what looks like a druzy quartz. And that should come up under quartz. Okay, let's see. I'm going to test it on the back side. Now, see, the druzy is not coming up at all. Then we've got a citrine looking stone. I put it down because I don't want to give it any heat transfer from my hand. So hopefully I can get it without touching it. So we're doing the citrine color. And that's coming up as glass. And then we have this green stone here. All right. And that is coming up as glass. So wow. So this is coming up as a yellow jadeite. I will test it one more time for you. I'll bring it down. Okay. So we're going to test this yellow stone again. Oops. Slippery little suckers. All right. There we go. Right into jadeite. Wow. Is that not beautiful? I love it. Beautiful fastening. Let me get you a measurement. I'm going to bring you back up. Let me get you a measurement on that beautiful necklace. It is a about 32 inches. Isn't that lovely? So for this loft piece, let's do let's do 13. She's beautiful. Okay, I'm going to move Pressy back out of the way, but we will leave her on. Next up, we have these gorgeous natural pearls. They are in pinks and creams. They are lovely. See, I'm going to bring it up there so you can see all the different shapes. Look at that. Is that not fantastic? This oh, feels glorious. The luster is beautiful. Let me get you a measure it. Now, this is doubled up so I can get it fitting on my table. So, we will need to measure that. So, there it is 19 inches. So, the wearable length would be 38, but the total length would be 72 my math is not great but it's over 70 inches total that is just fantastic look at that beautiful beautiful so for this natural pearl necklace it is heavy i would do 50 she is gorgeous okay next up we have i believe these are glass there is no clasp on this it is a beautiful green Fastening with a bronze. Can you see that? The bronze there. Absolutely gorgeous. These, when they're faceted, 
are really hard to test sometimes. The little probe will slide right off of the facets. So we are going to try to test one. As you can see, if I bring it up, see all those little facets? So we are going to try to test one. I'm going to have to hold it. All right. They are glass. Beautiful green faceted and bronze glass. Love it. Oh, this is just a beautiful piece. Let's do this glass one for, let's do 15. She is gorgeous. All right, next up we have a J. Crew. Here is the hang tag on an antique gold tone. I'm not sure if these are plastic or glass. We might as well test it. We have Pressy out. So let's bring her back and we will test one of these and see. It didn't register anything. So these are green plastic faceted beads get you a measurement on her she measures in at a 17 inch wearable length absolutely great it looks in good condition so for this j crew let's do 12 it's beautiful all right then we have let's see oh this is cute looking to see if there's a maker's mark don't see one beautiful <clears throat> this is gold tone and it has a starfish with some enamel and a ceramic looking bead i love this chain see that right there it's not beautiful design and then it goes up with regular that is a lovely piece let me get you the measurement she is on the smaller size there is no extender, so she is a choker at about seven and a quarter inches. Isn't that a pretty piece? Let's do that one. Let's do that for eight. Okay, so the rest of the pieces are either bracelets, rings, or earrings. So we've got an Alex and Annie. These look like, let's see, they are a glass bead. The charms here have some wear. Bring that up so you can see the wear on those. It is adjustable. It's still in pretty good condition. So let's do four on that. Then we have a fun unbranded silver tone with faux snake skin. Look at that. It's in black. A like slate color. Beautiful. Let me get you a measurement. It is about a seven and a half. Let me get you the opening size. To go over the hand. It would be a, just about two and three quarters. I would say a little bit under. But that's a fun cuff. I like that one. Or bangle, I'm sorry. Not a cuff. So for this one... Let's do eight. Here is the cup. This is silver tone. It does have some play to it. Ooh, try to get it on my fat wrist. All right. So this is what it looks like on me. I'm a seven, so this is a little too big. But it's beautiful with the designs here in a wavy pattern, kind of like a hammered design or pressed design. That is really nice. So... This would fit a size 6 the best, and it looks in great condition. No maker's mark. Let's do 8 on that. Okay, and then we got 4 of these. I don't know if they're bronze, what metal they are, but they have a purpley brown, almost like a chocolate brown hue to them. And I did not see any maker's mark on them. Here is the first one. Here is the second. Here is the third. And here is the fourth. So they've got braiding. And let me see if they are all the same size. Okay, so this one is a just about a six and a quarter. The other larger one is 
about a six and a quarter. Then we have a smaller one here that's just under a six. And this one looks smaller even. So, well, that one's actually, um, yeah, about five and three quarters. So I will sell them together. These are smaller, these are larger. So for the four bronzes color rings, let's do 12. This is fun. This is a premier design ring. The size is just a little bit over a five. Really pretty silver tone. It's like a frosted silver tone. I'm bringing you through so you can see the 3D leaves and they're shiny underneath and matte inside. And on the inside are rhinestones. She is a beautiful, beautiful piece. Yeah, and she is a size five, premier design. So for this ring, let's do 12. All right. Then the rest are earrings. These are pretty. These are a lucite and a pretty teal and a white banded color. Let me get you a measurement on these. These are lovely, very lightweight. They are an inch and a half by just over an inch and a half. Very pretty. Oh, I just love that color on these. Let's do six on those. Then we have a pair of plastic or lucite tortoise shell thin hoops. Let me get you a measurement. This is about a quarter of an inch wide, the, the width. And just under one and a half inches. I will put earring backs with those if you would like. They are unmarked. Let's do six for those. Then we have another pair of tortoise shell lucite or plastic earrings. They are one and three quarters by just under an inch. Super thin. These do have their earring backs. No maker's mark. So on these, we will do six as well. Then we have a pair of two-tone heart hoop earrings. If I bring them up, you can see the hearts are in like a silver tone, and then it's surrounded with a gold tone. Beautiful. They measure in at one and a quarter by one and a quarter. There is no maker's mark on these. These are very pretty. There is a tiny bit of wear, but for these, let's do six. All right, and then we have a beautiful basic gold tone pair of earrings they are not marked and I did test them they are not gold they are beautiful hoops this is the bottom is open you see the split there let me bring that up there you go you can see the split right there that is nice these are on the smaller size so I call these huggies they are about three quarters of an inch absolutely beautiful so these I would do six. So leave me a comment. Let me know what your favorite piece is. I would have to say I love pearls. I love pearls. I love pearls. So the pearls and the glass are most likely my favorite. And I do love the color of this, these earrings. So yeah, make sure you leave a comment. Let me know your favorite piece. If you are interested in any of these items, email me at timelessjewelbydeborah at gmail.com. And all the information is down there in the description for the timestamp and a screenshot in the title or the date of the video. And there is also a um, link down there for my eBay and my Etsy store in case you wanted to take a peek and see the other items that I sell. So let me know. I will talk to you guys really soon. So this was box four. And we are on to Box 5 next. Have a great one. And be well, you guys. Bye.